I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Have you heard of the one-armed fisherman? The one-armed fisherman? What about him? He caught, he caught a fish this big. He caught a fish this big? <laughs> <laughs> Well today folks we got a really kind of a different show for you today. I'm actually going to be the guest angler today and we're going to have a special guest host. Now sitting right over here somebody you probably recognize he's been on the show many times before. Brad Beefus. Brad's an old friend of mine. In fact he was one on, on one of the very first episodes of Mountain States Fishing almost 10 years ago. Brad it's great to fish with you again. Terry likewise. It's going to be a tremendous opportunity but Brad's not our host today. <laughs> Brad is just along with the, another member of the Beefus family, Tyler. And Tyler, you're going to be our host for today's uh, Mountain States Fishing. It's going to be great to fish with you today. <laughs> now, Tyler is quite an accomplished young man. Um, you're, how long have you been fly fishing, Tyler? Since I was old enough to go into a baby backpack carrier. And how old are you now? Eight. And how old were you when you caught your first fish on a fly rod? A day before my, um, third birthday. A day before your third birthday. Tyler not only is an accomplished fisherman, but he's going to be speaking at fly fishing shows and you're writing a book. Yep. And what's the book about? Um, teaching kids how to cast and present the fly to the fish the right way and how to remove it. And you really want to get kids interested in fishing, don't you? Yes. And that's the whole purpose of the book. Mm -hmm. And you also, you do some artwork. Yes. We're going to tell you a lot more about Tyler while we're fishing. But Tyler, he's going to take us out today. He's going to be my guide and the host of Mountain States Fishing. He's going to teach us how to fish. We're at, um, I, I forgot the name of the place. It's the, the, the Creek, Creek at, at Palisades. Palisades. And we want to give special thanks to them. And Tyler's, it's kind of a spring creek with pools and ponds, almost like fishing still water with some current. Tyler's going to go out and teach me and his dad how to fish these waters, show us how to catch some fish, host the show today and see if we, he can't help us get into a few fish. So let's get out in the water and show us what to do, Tyler. Okay. All right. Today I'm gonna be fishing this nine foot five weight rod, four X tippet, and we're all, and the fly that we're gonna be fishing are these streamers, um, because we think that the fish in this stream are going to be feeding on minnows that look like these streamers. Do you like fishing streamers? Yeah, now I do. Now you do? Yeah. Did you not like them before until you caught fish on them? Mm-hmm. I thought that streamers weren't the most successful fly. Now that they're working in this, I think that I'll start fishing them more. You know, there's a lot of fishermen that run into situations and, and anglers, ladies, and of all ages that um, sometimes you just need to use something to get confidence in it. Yeah. I'm going to try fast stripping now. And why do you think? Is that because you weren't getting it on the slow ones? You wanted yeah. to speed up the presentation? So you're fishing the streamer because you think these fish are feeding on little minnows? Yeah. Probably last night, I guess that they were because they were eating the streamer successfully. It was working, so. Yeah. Those look pretty much like, look like a little tiny fish in the water. 
Do you like fishing still water like this, or do you like fishing a river better? Yeah, I think that this is a lot of fun with streamers, but rivers, I don't think that um, they aren't the best place for streamers. Fish oh, on! That, fish on! Oh, Woo! wow! Looks like a nice one. It looked like a rainbow, didn't it? I think so, yeah. Looked like a nice rainbow. Woo! Way to go. It's Let your dad one. get up here and help you land Ooh. it. He's got the net. I it's a nice little rainbow. Nice, nice fish. Uh, oh, I got him right where it should be. Oh, look at that. Nice it's fish, nice one. fish. It's beautiful. That is just a beautiful fish. Nice colors. That's a nice fish. You know, Tyler, I noticed that you stripped that fish in instead of getting it on your reel. Yeah, it's, it's not too big of a fish, but it is a pretty nice sized one. I don't think, I think that I can probably handle it with stripping. Well, and sometimes, you know, people will lose a fish trying to get it on the reel, and you've got to keep that line tight, and you did a great job of stripping Ooh. that in. Nice job. Oh, beautiful fish. We'll get the hook out, and you can show that fish to the camera. Yep. Okay. Looks beauty. Here, I'll take Beautiful. your rod. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. My goodness. Is that thing beautiful? Now this is where I usually drop the fish, Tyler, <laughs> so don't feel bad. If it starts to flop. You got him. All right, There's way a, to go. There's a beautiful fish. Tyler Beefus, future television star, soon to replace Terry Wickstrom. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Put him in the net and let him There we go. Him. And I think that he's just ready. Well, good job. Thanks. You did good. So what, what were you doing? Let's tell the people. What were you doing when you caught that fish? I was doing a slow strip. So, and I was twitching it. So. And why were you twitching it? Make it look more alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, that an import, I, is that an important part of the presentation? Yeah. That's why I think it, if, you strip, if you twitch it, it looks more like the fish, like a minnow in the water instead of just like something that's just moving along and longing not um make it more lifelike more yeah, realistic yeah. Mm -hmm. okay that sounds good well let's see if we can get a couple more okay when i'm stripping i'll twitch my rod in the water and part of the reason i do that is so that the Fish will think that the that my streamer is real instead of have instead of it just um just having it just move in and not having very much action in the body. Why don't you talk a little bit while you're fishing about what your first fly rod was, what you learned to fly fish on. Your dad told us something yeah. at dinner last night about how, what your first rod was when you started fly fishing. It was an ice fishing rod, 30 inch ice fishing rod. Um, With a fly reel on it. Yeah, huh? mm -hmm. you put a fly reel on it. And just let me go to town learning how to cast. And how old were you? Two, I think, was that? Yeah, two, so. And when I was one, I could cast my Mickey Mouse spinning rod um, pretty well. Ew, gross. You know, Tyler, I think that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good lesson for people who want to teach their kids to fish or people kids who want to get into fishing is that you can teach them without having to go and buy them an yeah. expensive fly rod. You could just get a small spinning rod and put a fly reel on it until they learn the motion. Yeah and they could handle it better. Mm -hmm. It was light for me because I didn't have enough muscles to cast a huge fly rod yet. So my dad thought that I could use a spinning, a nice fishing rod and that would work. So we got a nice fishing rod for me. And, oh, I had a bump, I just had a bump. If you saw that little boy out there, there's probably another fish. Yeah, I got it. All right. Way to go. Fish on. I think it's a bigger one. It oh, is. Oh, nice. it's a big rainbow. Big rainbow. Nice one. All right, Tyler. Some... Whoa. 
my biggest fish. I think on the Tyler's story. forgetting who's the star of this show. <laughs> We're gonna. Have to <laughs> Whoa, this is a nice yeah. fish. I'll see if I can Look help you land it. Woo! Huge one. Good job. How strong of a tippet do you have on there? Um, I think it is 4X. 4X, that's pretty strong, but that's a big fish. I can feel it forcing. Oh. Oh, oh, pull his head up again. You probably should have brought a bigger net. It's just the guy, the guy using the net wasn't doing so good. That fish doesn't hardly fit in this net. Whoa. Whoa, it already broke out. Folks, I tell you what, he almost lost his fish, but not by any lack of skill on his part. The guy with the net not wanting to get in the water almost lost it. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. That's Pretty an nice awesome fish. job, Tyler. Beautiful thing. Isn't that great? Yeah. What's the biggest rainbow you've ever caught? Eight pounds. Eight pounds? Yep. Wow. Eight pound rainbow. Well, I tell you what, this isn't an eight pounder, but it's sure a nice one. Jeez, it's a beautiful one. Okay, do you want to put him back in the net? We'll get him back in Isn't the net. Isn't that unusual to have so much green on the back? Or? It's got a lot, of, it does have a lot, a lot of color, doesn't it? And a lot yeah. of spots. We'll get it back in the water. Goodbye, and there it goes. Fish. Man, you're doing good. <laughs> so you were, you were fishing. Well, we're fishing still water here, right? Yeah. Uh, a, a lake. And why did you decide to use a streamer, you said? Um, I think on still water, it kind of... It shows more movement than in a river. You think more like minnows? Because you think yeah. fish that are in ponds and still water probably are eating more minnows and things than yeah. maybe in a river? Yeah, more because in, in a river, more bugs will be eaten because the fish is here and they're coming over and they'll be focused on the fish above, not the minnows swimming down below them. So, so. the current is bringing bugs to the yeah. fish in a river. And here, because there isn't a lot of current, these fish go looking for something to eat. And to get that big, they probably have to eat minnows, wouldn't you think? Yeah. So. And this streamer, and you tried casting, you tried casting in different places. Now you cast, why were you casting in different places on the pond? Um, Because if you just cover one area and don't cover the rest of the pond, then, um. You have a bad chance of not catching very many fish. Because you want to just cover different areas and you changed your presentation too, didn't you? Yeah, I changed it. I started stripping fast. I stripped too slow, did fast, and did some other little mixed up patterns and stripping. Just to try to make it look alive. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, whatever you do is sure working great. You're doing a great job. Tell you what, folks, this may be the last show for me because I think I'm about to be replaced. After 10 years on the air, an 8-year-old is catching more fish than me, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But he's teaching me about fishing these ponds. Tyler's my guide today, and he's giving me instructions on casting, and he's giving me instructions on how to strip and use these type of streamers, and we're going to go see if we can get a few more fish lined up. Okay. So Tyler, tell me, where all have you fished? Um, Gunnison River, Cooper. Jeez. I fished the Black Canyon a little. I've heard you fished some far away places too. Yeah, and I fished in Alaska, and I'm gonna go fish in Japan. You, I heard that, you're going to Japan with yeah. your dad. Mm -hmm. In April. But in Alaska, what kind of fish did you catch up in Alaska? Pike and she fish. Pike and she fish. You know, a lot of people don't even know what a she fish is. That's a member of the whitefish family. Yeah, it's the biggest, actually. Biggest member of the whitefish family. How big was the she fish you caught? Eight, seven pounds. Seven pounds? It was a world record. Well, I've also, I also hold a world record in kokanee. That's right. Now, when we're talking world records, those are line class records for youth. Is that what that is? Yeah. IGFA, American, uh, International Game and Fish Association, world records for line class for fish. And how many world records do you hold? Two. Two world records. And you're eight years old. Yep. I'm 55 years old and I don't have any world records. <laughs> Actually, I just got a state record on fish yesterday. Oh, oh fish on. All right. Got a big one. Oh, it is a big one. Whoa. Nice, oh, no. nice fish. We better get your, I'm gonna go get the net. You play him, I'll get the net and I'll be right okay. back. Okay, we'll see what we can do with this fish. Since uh, this is a big fish, um, I'm gonna bring in um, something that I know about fish. If, you, if they get really stressed, there's a chemical in their body that builds up um, and it can kill them if 
uh, it, if too much gets built built up in their body. And that's why you want to land them quickly, right? Can you get that? Don't freak out, fish here. We're going to show you to these cameras, and then we're going to put you back in there. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. Now you might feel more secure. Secure if you fit. He starts to flop, he'll just flop right into that net. There you go. Beautiful fish, isn't it? Beautiful fish. It is. We're gonna let that you're gonna let that go so it's here for somebody else yeah. to come. I don't let you go, fish. There you go. There he goes. Good job. There's it's a nice well, you're rainbow. doing well. You're doing well. Well, you know, I think Tyler's taught me enough where I can at least try to make a couple casts now and see if I can catch a fish. But I really appreciate you taking me to this spot, Tyler, and telling me how to fish it and showing me all this. It's a lot of fun, actually. You know, Tyler? This is the most successful I've been for a long time, actually. You know, Tyler, uh -huh. um, you also tie some flies, don't you? Yeah. So how long have you been tying flies? Um, since I was three. Since you were three? Yep. And what are some of your favorite flies to tie? Streamers and nymphs. Streamers and nymphs? Yep. My absolute favorite flies. Are you going to be, I heard you're going to be appearing at some sports shows? Yep. In Denver and in New Jersey? Yep. And what Fly are you going to be doing shows. at those shows? Oh man, I thought that I got another one. I yeah. did, I had a bump. Yes, you had one on. That was a nice bump actually. I think that was my Benino. So at those sports shows you're going to be appearing at? Are you going to be tying flies or just talking? Um, I'm going to be tying flies and doing demonstrations. And, and, what, kind of, and what, what kind of demonstrations are you um, going to do? Not like casting demonstrations, but um, shows, slide shows. I don't have one. Man, tapes are getting... I got one. Wow, you did a good job of teaching me. <laughs> Because I figured out That's how to catch these. Now if I can just land it as good as you did. You did a great job of playing That's it too. Well, I tell you what, Tyler, you're a good guide and a good teacher. You taught me about these waters and showed me the fly and uh bring you on in when you're ready. We don't want to I don't want to horse them because I got a light tippet. But I don't want to wear them out too bad either. So we'll see if we can get them over here. Yeah, so that we can Oh I Good job of netting it. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's a nice one. It is a nice one. Boy, it's Beauty. got a Let's we'll get this fly out of them. There we go. I'll show them to the camera. And this is the fish that I caught because Tyler taught me how to fish these waters and showed me where to cast in the presentation. Thank you, sir. You're a good guide putting me on fish like that. That was a lot of fun. Right now I'm going, I'm casting next to the bank so because um fish like to be by the bank because sometimes there's grooves underneath and little slots that have been caved in by current that they can hide in and it's really good protection for them so that they can hide you come help you net that here you go let me help you thank you looks like a pretty big fish it is all right. It's a brown. No, oh, it's a rainbow. rainbow. It's a big rainbow. Good job, Tyler. Biggest rainbow of the day for me. Get out the hook, and then I'll hold it for the camera. Thank you. Okay. I'll be right there, Mr. Beefus. You ready? Whenever you're ready. Okay. Go ahead. Nice fish, Tyler. Nice. Way to go. It's a beautiful one. Beautiful fish. A nice rainbow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Should we you want to put him in the net and release him, or do you want to get on your knees here? I'll hold on to you. Are you ready to go, fish? Put him in easy. Make sure he's ready to go. He's ready to go. Need some help? No, I actually don't. Hey, give me five. Way to go. Nice fish. You slime me. Victory! I'll tell you what. 
Tyler, Brad, what a great day. What some awesome fish we caught. Wasn't it tremendous? Tyler, you yeah. just did fantastic. That was awesome. You were great. Brad, it was great fishing with you Derek, again. it's great to fish with you again, too. It's just awesome. I look forward to more time. I'll tell you what, folks. First of all, I want you to watch for this young man. He's an up-and-comer. In fact, you might tune in next week at maybe the Tyler Beefus show instead of Terry Wickstrom. <laughs> we'll find out. But he's, uh, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the industry. And I hope he's, you know, seriously... I hope watching Tyler and his enthusiasm and what he brings to fishing can inspire some of the other youth out there and maybe some of your parents to get your kids involved in the outdoors. Maybe follow Tyler's book and uh, go see him at some of his appearances. I want to thank the folks at uh, Creek at Palisade for allowing us to use their facilities today. And most of all, Tyler, I want to thank you for teaching me how to fish these waters and allowing me to catch a really nice rainbow and showing the people how to use streamers and stuff. Great job, guy. Thank you. You know, and we look forward to you. You're going to be appearing at some fly fishing shows, and you got a book coming out. We'll look forward to those. Brad, you got a wonderful young man there, and uh, look forward to working with him some more and doing more things with you. All right, Terry. Thank you. You know what, folks? I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, maybe you get out and get to see Tyler. If nothing else, get out and do some fishing, and join us next week on Mountain States Fishing. So, Tyler, what do you what do you think about this place that we're fishing today? It's really cool, actually. Oh man, had a bite. How does it compare to some of the other places that we've fished, do you think? I like it, actually. It's a lot. What, what do you like about it? I think that because it's more streamerish water. It, it's more what? More streamer More water. streamer type water? Yeah. 